Hello everyone, I'm back. Um, I just wanted to show you guys this sunflower. You don't get mosquitoes, or, I think there's one bugging me. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys this sunflower. This is my fabric mesh one. Oh God, I really like working with this. This is phenomenal. So I just added, you know, those checked leaves that I have. Um, it's a fabric mesh as well. So I just put that on there. I'm going to make a middle for it. I just threw that in there so just so you guys can see what it looks like. I really like this. You know, I like to make them all a little different than the others. So um, I really like how this turned out. So if you can see a little further, you know, up ahead. And then just to say, you know, that we've got a little bit of a leaf. And if you look at a sunflower, that's all you're going to get, right? Just a little bit of a leaf. So I didn't want to put too many and it will make it, you know, overpower it. I really want you to see this nice, beautiful mesh. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And I'm really liking that color. So that one's finished. And remember I was telling you I had to make a new one for my, my, uh, my girlfriend. Well, I finally, you know, I finally did tell her that I sold her wreath. And she, you know, she said to me, she says, well, I'd rather have sunflower. <laughs> I'm going, oh, okay. <laughs> Get you, I'll make a sunflower. I'll make a sunflower. So this is the one I'm going to make. And this is, I'm going to give her this one. And this is for her aunt. So I think it's very pretty. It's very rich looking. And she deserves this one. So that do that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on. Judy got some new tools. And I'm really excited to use them. And another thing, remember I told you guys about those roses I used to make? Well, you know, this is a black one, I mean, you know, and the red one. Well, I'll tell you what, these are faded quite a bit, okay? They were in the sun, you know, in a vase. And the one thing about um, about leather, you know, it does fade very quickly. My leaves used to be as green as the stem, so um, the sun really faded them down. But they still, you know, what I did was I took some, um, or spray there, uh, uh, the Mod Podge. And I put that on them, and I revived them. It they, they, they was a lot paler, so it just kind of brought the color back a little bit. But yeah, these are really cool to make if you have the patience for them. Because what you have to do is you have to cut the petals, and then you have to dye them. And then you have to wet them, and then you shape them, and then you put them on here. So it is a little bit of a process, but I sold a lot of these. <laughs> so they were pretty cool. Um, I was at uh, the Dollar Tree, and I found these things, and I really like this. No, you know what? It was Dollarama. Excuse me. But these ropes are really nice. There's kind of like a copper kind of color. I really like this. This is really nice. And then red. I'm thinking, you know, Christmas time. There's also a pink one. I just like the glitter on it. You know, you make one of those centers and, you know, you just wrap the rope around. I think these are going to be really handy. I'll find something to do with them. So there was that. And then I got three brand new tools. Oh, I'm so excited to use them. Well, I've already, you know, used my scissors, okay? So when I'm cutting my felt, these are great, you know? Um, I find that I'm not making, you know how you're cutting your scissors and you end up with little notches? This doesn't happen, but you have to be really careful with it. These are dangerous, like super dangerous. So let's be safe with your electric scissors, folks. I also got myself one of these. This is, um, it's for zip ties. So, you know, you stick, you know, when you put your zip tie around the thing and you, you know, you just kind of put this, you know, around it and then you push on it and then it'll wrap it around it and then eventually you cut it. Is that ever cool? Save on my hands, you know, my arthritic hands. Oh, thank God I found this tool. It was actually my husband who suggested it a long time ago, but I don't listen. So, you know, I make my own trouble. We all know that, right? <laughs> so I'm glad I got this now. This will make my life a little easier. And also there was, um, I remember I talked about that Santa wreath and I wanted to, you know, write that ho, ho, ho on the top. Well, I finally got the tool for it. How cool is this? So I can make my letters and then I can take my nice, beautiful 
paper, you know, my nice shiny paper. And then cut my letters out and put this on top. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. You just won't make anything out of this. And then those little circles, those little round balls, I can just cut that off now and, you know, no bumpiness. And my OCD is going to be so happy. <laughs> so that's that. I'm so happy I got this. And it wasn't that expensive. I had it written down somewhere, but I rewrote my notes. And who knows where they went. <laughs> you know me, scatterbrain. So, well, that's that. So, I'm really anxious to, you know, call my customer and say, I got something else to put on your wreath. Can you please bring it back? <laughs> and I'm going to do it because, you know, it's the little things that you do for them that makes them come back. And this is the second time. So, I really want her to be happy. And, and little things like that, you know, it really goes a long way. So, let me put that aside. <laughs> and then, um, remember those flowers? Well, I'm looking for water. Uh, my spool was just about, you know, over. And um, I figured, you know, I'd go down and buy some at Cane Tire or something. And then I went downstairs and I started looking through my stuff. And lo and behold, then I find the floral wire that I used to use for my flowers. Wow, I got bags and bags of this. So guess what? This is my new wire. It's probably about maybe a 20 gauge, maybe a 20 or 18 gauge, maybe. It's a lot stiffer than what that other little spool that I had. But hey, who cares? I got wire and I have a lot of it. So this is going to go a long way for me. Hey, look, I found another package. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, see, I mean, I've got like a handful of these and this is going to be like super great. And they're cheap too. Um, I think I used to get them at the dollar store as well. You know, you get like a, I don't know, I just probably, let's see what we think we'd be in here. Oh, at least 20, at least 20, 25, right? So, yeah. I would say invest in some of that. That's really cool wire. Um, I used some today and it bends really well. And you know that other gate, that other stuff that I had, if you bend it too, too many times, it does break. So there you go. That's that. So my water lily. Um, man, I tell you, that thing is so cool. And I finished it because we were going around and there's nothing more that I could really show you on that wreath. Uh, what I've showed you is basically what you have to do. The only thing was left was that center. Remember I was saying that, you know, we're going to, I was going to do the three pinks. So light pink, dark, I mean the dark, middle pink and then fuchsia in the middle. So I did finish it, but I added something to it. Um, I added some, I really wanted it to make it look like a water lily. So I added some green and some white petals at the bottom. And the white petals are my sunflower petals, which are the fish, you know, the fish petal. Um, this thing's gorgeous. Um, I could, didn't know what to do about my leaves and my son said, you know, you know, how lily pad, you need something round, he said. Ah, oh, I got this wreath sitting in front of me and it's got little round petals and I'm going, ah, the lollipop petal, of course. So that's what I did. I used the lollipop petal. So here's my wreath. Here's my little end. Not just my little my uh, lollipop petals and then I put some white ones and then everything just comes all up and there we go folks what do you think of that right so when I got to I used uh, bar two and three for the light pink then I bought I used bar three and four okay and part of the mesh and I really yanked on it so that this came up. I wanted it to stand up. And then I came in on the mesh and I put my fuchsia in there. 
So it really, I find this very striking. What do you guys think? It's, um, it's a very easy wreath to do. All you gotta do is just keep going and following and not um, make sure, okay? Cause I had a couple of petals that I had missed and then I looked underneath. I was like, you know, I always count how many zip ties I have. And then when I looked underneath it, I was like, oh gosh, you know, I missed some. So I had to go back and then I had to like pull back these two petals and then get in there. So, you know, the, you know, that fraying thing that I love so much. So I was very nervous about doing that. So yeah, so here we go, folks, that's it. So I'm quite happy with that. I mean, you know, you could stick it on the table if you like, you know, I think it's neat. I think it succeeded my leaves. Um, yeah, so there we go. My water lily leaf wreath. So there you go, folks. And if you have any questions about it, please feel free to drop me a comment and, uh, you know, ask anything that you need to know. I will let you know what you, you need to know about this. It's very easy to do. I think this was one of my first wreaths. So, um, I really like it. I like all these different pinks and that I put the white. So what I did was I looked at uh, the internet and I looked at an actual flower and when we went to pick our puppy, um, in the, in the water, all the water lilies are opening up right now. So this is what kind of made me say, ah, water lily, because they're all in bloom. It's just so beautiful. I just, we went by this one place and, the, and it was just all water and it was just full, full of water lilies and they were all opened up. And I was like, oh, this is just, yeah, it inspired me. So, you know, I love to look at nature. Nature, you know, is so beautiful. And if we can put it in here, then great, right? So I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, so um, I ordered from the re-shop again today, or yesterday. Um, I had a, my friend Catherine, she suggested Factory Direct. So they've got a huge variety of decomash. Huge, huge variety. And they run from about 737 to 1160. 1160 is pretty expensive for decomash. Um, and this, you know that check, that, you know, that stuff that I use, this stuff? Wow. They want $53.35. I don't get that. I gotta look again. You know, is it like 60 feet or 100 feet? This makes no sense because if this is $53.95, they're going to be eating it for breakfast. I'll tell you that. Oh my gosh. I've never seen that that expensive. I paid like $7.95 for this, folks. About well, $53. Ah, that's terrible. So, um, you know, but I mean, the deco mesh is $7.37. That's really good, I have to say. Uh, in comparison to all the others, you know, that's, that's pretty good. Um, that called strange. Um, yeah, that's what it was, right? Yeah, no, that called strange. What was there? Probably burlap. The striped border was 562. So they're even cheaper, you know, uh, metallic 583. Remember we said, like, why are you putting that metallic up? But, you know, most places do the same. So there's 737, so I find them a little expensive. I looked for poly burlap and I couldn't find any. Um, like I said, they shipped to Canada, but this is all in US dollars. So you you know that 737 is probably gonna end up like, you know, eight and a quarter by the time it gets here. So um, I guess, you know, it's all right, I guess. Uh, I, I don't know, I, I wouldn't. I don't think I'm going to order from them. Um, I'm actually quite happy with the re the, what is it, the, um, the re shop. You know, I mean, it got here in a week. I, you know, all my other orders are like lagging. It's almost like maybe they're small or something. I don't know. But um, I don't know if my Canadian people here have gotten their stuff, but I feel really bad for them because like, 
you know, it's been a long time and you have another order. I called Lady in PC and she said to me that there's a big container sitting on a ship somewhere and they just don't have access to it. Like, how sad is that? That's a business. They need their stuff. My gosh, I can't believe that this is happening to them. So I hope they get their stuff soon, you know. Uh, that That's uh, um, Canadian Resupply and the Canadian uh, Canada Craft Imports. So, guys, I really wish you the best in that because, gosh, you know, you really shouldn't be going through that. So, another thing I did today, you know, I don't want to burn my little puppy. This freaking word burner is driving me crazy. I swear it's falling down. What I did was I even attached my little tray here to my table. I just glued her down. I just went, you're not going anywhere. But even so, that burner was still falling down. So, I invested uh, fifteen ninety seven from Amazon for one of those coil things. It just goes right in there. There's a weight on it. Safety is where it's at, right? Uh, like I'm just just tired of it. It just came too close to my puppy. I mean, he lies underneath me, you know. Unless I'm burning, so you know, um, not good. So, you know, it's it's worth to invest in these little tools, and you know, it makes your job easier and nicer. And, um, you know, people really like it. So that's the way I see things. Anyway, I'm going to close this off with my beautiful little lily, lily, water lily. And as you can see, here's what I did in the back, you know. I wasn't, I had, I got here and then I was like, ah, I'm not satisfied. I need to put something at the bottom. I need some leaves. And then my son was here and he goes, we need this round thing. And I'm going, well, I don't have a round petal. I don't have any big. And then I thought about the lollipop. So what I did was that I put these, like these petals here, because if you look at the water lily, those are the kind of petals that they're actually are. So <laughs> watch my bottom. Look at that. <laughs> I just tucked everything in and I thought, Geez, you know, this is really nice because now it's got protection against the door. It's almost like putting um, a piece of um, foam in back there. So my my uh, my felt will go right on top of there. Everything is good. My, my thing is already in there. We're good. Okay, folks. So I hope this tutorial was, um, was informative to you. And... Um, Please subscribe to my videos so that you'll be notified on the next one. Uh, I look forward to uh, watching your comments. Please, please, de commentaires. J'ai besoin de commentaires. I need comments from you. I need to know what you guys want me to do. Uh, what is it that you guys want to learn, you know? Or are you just satisfied with what I'm making, you know? I mean, you know, I don't know. You're obviously watching my channel because, you know, I see it. And, um, you know, I have 98 subscribers now in two months. And I really, I'm very proud of that. Thank you guys, like, for supporting me. It's been great. Um, and I will continue as long as everybody's watching. So with that, I'm going to leave you guys. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful evening. And don't forget to subscribe to my video uh, so that you will be notified on the next one. And God bless.